Hi kiddos, how are you? So today I thought we could do a lesson combining math and art. So we're going to be making some robots and these are some that I made before. Um, these are really fun to make and in order to make them you need to know your shapes. These are the materials you will need. You need a piece of paper, any kind. I'm using a sketch paper. Uh, it's a little thicker, but you can use regular computer paper, line paper, whatever you have. You will also be needing some washable markers. You will need some water and a paintbrush. Before we get started, we need to go over some of our most common shapes. So, this one is called a circle. You can also have a square you might have a rectangle. Now rectangles, you can draw them two ways. You can draw them standing up, or that's called vertical, or you can uh, draw them kind of like laying down. That would be horizontal. So you have two ways of drawing them. There's also another shape. We haven't really talked about it. You'll learn it later when you go to a different grade, but it's called a trapezoid. And a trapezoid has two sides that are the same length, so these two are the same, but the bottom and the top are different. And what this causes is to get this kind of like a cone shape missing the top. We used it the other, the other day for the leprechaun hat. We're going to be using it again. Well, you can use it again. Then we have an oval. And this is the same as the rectangle. You can have the oval go in different directions. Okay, so let's review them. Circle, say them with me. Square, rectangles, ovals, trapezoid. So these will be the main shape because we're gonna use them for the head and we will be using them for the body. So the first thing you need to do is choose the shape. So pick a shape, put it in whatever side you want, and that's the first shape we're going to draw. So I'm going to pick, make sure you use your washable marker for this. So I think for the head, I want to make, let's go with a rectangle. I'll do a rectangle for the head. Make sure your rectangle is not too far up because we will be doing things on the top of this drawing and it's not too far on the bottom. You just kind of want it right there in the middle towards the top, okay? So that would be the first thing, to pick the size of the, the shape of the head. It can be any shape. You don't have to do the one I did. The second step will be to make the eyes. Now, all of these robots have really funny looking eyes. You can make one eye, and I'm gonna do it like this, so it looks like that. Or you can make kind of like a unit eye, like that. Uh, with this one, I'm going to give it sunglasses. So you're going to draw an upside down M. I'm going to do two little rectangles inside, and I'm going to color it. It looks like sunglasses. And then maybe for this one, I'll do something that doesn't even look like eyes. I'll do two little side. Panels. I feel like mine. Oh, I know. I'm going to draw an eye that looks like this. And then I'll do mm, maybe a little eye. And I'll do a little eyebrow, little eyelashes. Okay, so after you have your eyes, step two will be the mouth. So for the mouth, you can do a bunch of different things. Um, remember, the kind of mouth you give it is the expression that it's probably going to be making. So I made that one kind of looking like it's mad. This one, I'll make a line there and maybe add a tooth. And then for this one, maybe I'll do a mad looking face. And then this one can just have a little Eh, I don't like that. Let's erase it. Mm, maybe I'll just choose like that. 
that looks a little weird. And then for this one, I'll give it a tooth right there too. So these are different kinds of mouths you can do. Just play with yours. It doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, let me see. I'll do a big happy one. There you go. So you pick yours. Now we're not going to add a nose, but we will add eyebrows. And the eyebrows you put will give it expression as well. So look, if I put an eyebrow like that, now it looks like it's mad. Maybe I'll do something like that. Um, this one will have like little side eyebrows. This one just one eyebrow. And then this one will have two that are like, eh, looking up. Okay, let's do one for this guy. Little eyebrows right there. Now the next step is the antennas. Because robots have antennas to let other people know what they are feeling, right? So we can have different types of antenna. Here's another one that I made before. You can do some pointing up like two towers and then we connect them up. And the way you do that is you do two rectangles like that and you might want to connect them you can do kind of like a hat right maybe you can have like two side things going um maybe you just want a little antenna and an earpiece and you can connect them uh let's see this one is going to have that and two side little things going and then this one I'm going to give it headphones like that so that's one that I made before and this one you can get a better idea so let's see for mine I feel like making little headphones And then maybe I'll connect them. Like that. He's listening to some crazy music. Okay. Next step is the neck. And for the neck, you need to do two lines going down. Okay. And then you can add kind of another shape, a circle. Two more lines going down. And now we go back to the shapes. Which shape do you want for the body? Now, I made some here. So these are some of our options for the bodies. You can have a big circle for the body, another trapezoid, a rectangle. You can even do several shapes, like a square with a trapezoid, or a square and a circle, whatever you wish to do. I think I'm going to do a girl robot. So I'm going to do that. And maybe I'll do a rectangle and then I'm going to add a trapezoid to the bottom. All of the stuff in the inside is decoration. You can add that later. So before you do the decorations, let's do the arms and the legs. Now for the arms, you can do more than one arm. This one has six. You can do two arms or you can do one whatever you wish to do. Now for the arms, I think I'm going to make ovals. And then for the tip, I am going to add a rectangle and a semicircle with a semicircle in the middle. That's going to be my type of arm. Let's do another one the same. And then a rectangle with a semicircle. So that's going to be the arm. And then for the body, I feel like making, um, maybe I'll do a square with another trapezoid with a rectangle and a big rectangle on the bottom. And that's going to be my shoe. There. That's, that's the way your shoes are. I'm going to add lines in here. like that 
Now this is where you get to decorate yours. So I'm going to put a big square here and in the middle I'm going to add a heart. I'm going to do a big rectangle and maybe I'll do some stuff like that. Add some smaller squares. Another square there, so it looks like buttons. Maybe I'll do some lines in the button in that little thing. Uh, for the skirt, mm, let's do a line. And maybe I'll do some dots so it looks like they're like screws. Alrighty, now your uh, robot can have more than one leg as well. I made some that had three or just one, like the one that I'm doing right now. And again, you can use any shape. You can do little circles for the legs. It does not need to be lines. So here's the fun part, the painting. So we did everything with a washable marker. Now, this is what happens when you have a washable marker and you use water on top of it. So I'm gonna show you here on the test. You see how the water turns a different color? That's because the washable marker dilutes in water, which means that the paint that's in the marker comes off when you get it wet. So this is what we're gonna use to paint our robot. So get your paintbrush a little wet, make sure it's not too wet. If it's way too wet, it's just gonna smudge all your, your beautiful drawing. So be careful. You see what happens? So we're gonna use this technique on the whole robot. Now be careful not to smudge, so don't get too much water. And don't put your fingers on top of it either. Okay, so I'm gonna do the body. Paint on the inside here. Be careful where you don't want the color. This is kind of like painting with real paint. You have to be careful. Make sure you put the paint only where you want it. So I don't want anything inside my buttons. I only want it on the main part of the body. Let me get it wet a little bit. Be careful. Oops. There you go, all around. Maybe I'll do the arms. And a little bit of water goes a long way. You don't have to get it super wet. Okay, let's do the neck, the little feet, the legs. All right, and there's my main robot. It looks as if I used paint, but instead, all I did is I diluted the washable marker. Now we're going to use the washable markers. You can actually use crayons, and that's what I'm gonna use instead, to add some color. So I'm going to use that and maybe I'll add some color to the buttons. Let's get some purple. You can use the markers for this as well, but your paper might get too wet. So there you go. Uh, maybe the smile is going to be orange. Okay. Let's get some more colors in here. And that one, and there you go. That's gonna be my robot. Now for the outside, for the background, this is where you're going to need the different colors of marker because we're gonna paint the background. So how are you going to do that? We're going to do lines. Lines that go everywhere. Got a different one, maybe we'll do some loops. Make whatever shape you want. Let's get some green. Oh, you know what? I like the idea of doing warm colors. So remember, these are our warm colors, right? So these are warm colors, and these are the cold colors. So when you think of warm colors, you think of fire, right? So these are colors you might find in fire. And when you think of cold, you think of colors that you might see in the ocean. So these are cold colors. Since we're using cold colors on the inside of our robot, I think I'm gonna use warm colors to do the background. 
So in, I already have the red, the orange. Now the other warm color would be my yellow. So maybe I'll do some yellow lines. There you go. Now, same technique as the inside. Be careful because look, I just put my hand in it and I just got it everywhere. It does come off, so don't worry. So now I'm going to get that line wet. Be careful not to get too close to your robot because if you get too close to your robot, it's going to mix with the color the robot already has. So pick up the color from the lines you drew. And you can paint like that. Let's get some in here too, like so. Alrighty, so you would do the whole thing and that would be the back of your robot. Here are some other ones that I made. I got this one too wet so it smudged a little bit. So be careful. So there's one. I made another one over here. There's infinite amount of ways you can make your robot. So go ahead, have fun. You can take a picture of it afterwards and post it on your portfolio so that I can see it. And then what I'll do is I'll copy the picture and I'll make a little um, file on class though, just so that you can see each other's uh, paintings and drawings, okay? So make sure you take a picture and you put it on your portfolio. That way we can show them off. Okay, have a good day and I'll talk to you guys.